Hi, I'm Jack, the Cornish Fishmonger, and welcome to the Cornish Fishmonger's Kitchen. Now, I thought I would just share with you how I would dress one of our Cornish crab. So I've got a cooked Cornish crab here, so it's cooked with me, and this is how it'll arrive with you. This is probably a medium-sized crab, so I'd say one nice, big, generous portion. This is a female crab or a hen crab, and you can see that from the tail piece here, and underneath there, they'll hold all of the eggs. So dressing of a crab is um, effectively where you pick the white and the brown meat, put it back into the shell, and it's just great for plate presentation, really impactful, bit of fun, and also the shell acts like a plate, so it's nice and easy. So first of all, all I've got to do is remove the body from the shell. So by doing that, I will turn it over, um, pull up the legs, and then on the back here, you just hold the crab down firmly, and then with your thumbs, just push up, with a bit of force, you'll hear it go. There we go. And that will break the body from um, the shell. So there we go. Here are, I mean, they're called the dead man's fingers, but obviously they're not. And that is just um, the gills of the crab. So that is the only thing I would advise definitely not to eat. So all I'm gonna do is just remove them so that once we get going, everything I've got is completely edible. And there's just a few either side of the body. Lovely, jubbly, a little bit, not too messy, but we will get it done. So now I've got all, yeah, now I've got all the dead man's fingers removed. Inside the, um, the body, the shell here, this is where all the brown meat is. So I'll just remove a bit of the membrane. Um, Throughout the year, the brown meat will vary from where it's been caught, the age of the crab, um, times of the year, the seasons. It will go from being quite a thick um, brown crab, which I've, I've got here, to sometimes it'll be quite watery, sometimes it'll be quite a thick orange color. Um, it, will, it will vary, sometimes there'll be quite a lot in here, sometimes there won't be very much, and it does all just depend on the season. So. You need a crab pick, but I don't have one, so just the back of a teaspoon is all you really need. It's nice and small, so all you do is just get the brown meat, you get in there and just mix it all up, get everything out from the shell. Um, there will be maybe a little bit of membrane and such that you just want to remove, but um, chop all the brown meat up, that is all absolutely fine, ready to eat. The one thing I would remove is sort of the mouth and the head, and that's just in the front of the shell here, and you just want to get your thumb and just clock that out Simple as that really, nice and easy. There's a little bit there, a little bit there. Um, and just pull those bits out, just not for any particular reason, it's not gonna hurt anyone, but it's just not very nice to have it there. And then there is our brown meat, all in the shell. Doesn't look, I'll be honest, doesn't look that most appetizing, but that is just pure crab flavor. Um, the white meat is really delicate and sweet and luxurious, and the brown meat is far richer far stronger and really has that strong crab flavor. I love the brown meat. Um, as you can see, I haven't got too much brown um, brown crab in this one, it's a little bit thick. Um, so just break it all up and you've got it in there. So that is the brown meat sorted, I'll put that to one side. So now we're at the white meat. So I've got the main body here. The white meat is in the claws, the legs and the main husk in the body. So to pick it, I would just, you just wanna break off the claws, which I will do now, away from the body, and then just want to break off all of the legs, all eight of them. Perfect. Just a nice little twist, get that joint out. Um, they're very easy to, very easy to pop out. There's no art to it. In the middle here, there is a bit more. Um, brown meat, as you see this bit is a little bit thicker, so I would just get the back of my spoon and I'll just pick that out into my shell. And that is the brown meat. As I said, I love the brown meat, but it is slightly thicker, um, slightly richer, stronger, so really enjoyable to break that bit of shell off that's broken away there. So, to pick the meat, <clears throat> quite simply, a little bit of um, labour of love, but I think it's absolutely worth it. Just get the back, get the back of your teaspoon, um, and you just want to go into each of the holes where the legs were, 
and you just want to get it all off and just pick it all out. Um, it will it will take a bit of time to get all of the holes. Um, you know what? In fact, to make this a little bit easier. Um, no, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. So in order the where the legs are, like I said, it's a bit of a labour of love. The more gentle you are, the less um, shell you will have in it. There's naturally no shell in the white meat at all, but the law of what it is, you are going to get a little bit of shells in it, so you do want to go through it afterwards. But it is just um, the more gentle you are, the more time you take, the easier it is, and the less um, shell you will get into the um, into each of the into the white meat. So again, this side, you know, what to make it a little bit easier. I might just break off the tail. So that's the tail piece in there is where they hold all the eggs. I'll break that off because that just makes my life a little bit easier. You can see what you're doing. And you just want to go away and pick into the um, into the husk, into the body, into all the joints. Um, it will take, as I said, it's a bit of a labour of love. It will take a bit of time, um, but it is definitely worth it. As I said, that white meat is so sweet, so luxurious. Um, it's absolutely delicious. So I'll just do that now. Break off any things that are in the way. And as I said, you just want to get the back of the teaspoon and just pick away at the body. So that is probably all I need to get out of there. There is far more in there. You've got all the meat in all of the joints, um, all of the bones structure in there. You've got all the white meat. So you can just keep going till your heart's content. Um, but that is probably enough from the body, but there is a lot more in there. Then you've got the white meat in the legs. Do not throw the legs away. Um, I'll be honest, there's pretty much no point in these bottom three there. So you just want to break that off and that will just bring out the spine with those two, a little bit of cartilage. You want to break it off um, at the ball joint if I can, if my hands are perfect, there we go. And then again, the back of a teaspoon, you just want to push that in and you will push out this beautiful nugget, there we go, of white meat from the leg. Um, and that is completely boneless, really sweet, just absolutely delicious. So definitely don't throw the legs away. There's one there. And then you wanna do that all eight times. So just, as I said, snap off that joint there and you pull off these two bones, make it completely boneless. Snap it off at, uh, break it, my hands have gone a bit slippery, I'll be honest. There we go, break it off of that joint, and then back of a spoon, just pop that in, and just move that down the shell. It shouldn't stick, it should just be a matter of teasing, teasing the white meat out, and there you go, you have the meat from the inside of the leg. Um, as I said, there's not, in my opinion, if you really want to, by all means, go ahead and start picking the bottom bits, but I don't, in my opinion, think there's much in there and worth the time. So I've done two of the legs. That is how you pick the legs. Then you've got the claws. Now this is where the majority of the white meat is. So as you can see, you've got white meat on these spines, just pull them off. So this is where we've broken it away from the body. The claw sat, give or take around there. So we just pulled that off and that would move it. Then you've got these joints here, if I can. So you wanna break one off there. You want to break it off there and by breaking it all you're doing is bending it away from the natural way it bends you just want to bend it the opposite way it shouldn't take this one might take a bit of force to be honest we might not be able to do this one i would normally use a hammer but i don't have one god we might not be able to do this one this was obviously a very strong lady no we won't do that one um so in there again you just want to get the back of a spoon and just pick out inside all of those joints and that is where the amount of white meat in the claws is where the majority of it is. But don't miss the legs, don't miss the body. Um, and then just get the back of the spoon, just pick all the white meat out. As I said, as you can tell, it is definitely worth the time and the patience if you've got the time. It's a bit of fun for the party, for your friends or family. Um, have a competition who can do it quicker, who can do it cleaner. And then there's a lot of meat in the claw here. Um, you can just break that claw backwards and that will pull the spines out. So now in there, that is completely um, boneless because I've taken out the two bits of cartilage. Again, just get the back of your spoon um, and just work it 
work the white meat out. It takes a bit of teasing, a bit of labor of love. The claw meat you will see is slightly different to the body meat. Um, when I say slightly different, it's just slightly different texture, maybe a little bit finer, because um, it all just depends what part of the crab you get it from. Um, and you just want to get a spoon, break all that in there. There's a lot in these claws. Um, the real powerhouse is the power that a crab has is absolutely incredible. They are such strong um, animals, really deserve the respect when they're, when they're alive. Definitely give them respect that they deserve because their claws are very powerful. So as they're just usual, back your spoon, just pick it all out. So I think we've got the idea from this one. So as I said, so there's a whole nother claw you can do. Um, I've done that claw. There's all the legs we've shown you how to do and there's still a bit more meat from the body. And then you've got the shell here, which is the brown meat. And then traditionally you just pat the brown meat out and then you'll put the white meat back down the middle and you'll dress. Um, and then there you've got your white and your brown meat. So once you've done all of that, you pick the legs, the claws, the body, and you've um, got all the brown meat out that you want, you'll end up with something, if you've done it properly, something looking a bit like this. So I've just put the back of the claw, so as you can see where I've broken it off, just put that there as a bit of presentation, just a bit of fun. And then there's all the brown meat put in the back in the shell. There's the white meat, and there's the claw, and that is ready to go. You've got your own plate, um, nice and easy, perfect for picnics, take around one per person, and that is how I would dress a Cornish crab. Probably a lot quicker than me, but we've got there in the end, and it's definitely a labour of love, but absolutely worth it. That white meat is beautiful, sweet, luxurious, and that brown meat, as I said, is nice and rich. And mixed together, I think it's just perfect, and Cornish crab is world famous, as we well know. So if you want any ideas um, on what to use, the dress crab for or just crab meat in general you don't have to redress it you could just pick pick the meat and have them separate do have a look on our website or pick up the phone and give us a call we're always happy to help